Hi guys, Sharna here. I'm going to make another card video um, using the My Favorite Things uh, stamp sets that I just picked up. I absolutely adore them. So they are this one. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, I just love these little guys. The Tiki's, this is what made me buy this set, but um, these palm trees are great accents. Um, I'm going to be using this one today probably. And a lot of the other um, the, I'm going to be using this guy and a couple of the flowers from the set. Um, I like to pre-color things, especially with Kathy's challenges, um, Kathy or Kusin, that is. Um, and, you know, I have like bags of these things like sitting around. So I like to make cards out of them. So I thought I'd make a shaker card today and that's what we're going to do. Okay, let's start. Okay, well... I'm probably going to start with the background right now, so I don't know if you can see it, but I have two little marks here, um, and those match up. Here is my front piece. Um, those match up with this, so when I'm doing the background, I know how far out I need to go. Um, this is just going to be where all my sequins are. So I'm using um, the Flamingo Mix, um, but with Lucy's um, sequins. So. This is just my favorite combo pack right now. And as you can see, like the whole color scheme comes from that. So I'm going to be using um, the Mom Elephant inks here just to do the background with. I'm just going to blend them lightly. I have an ink blending tool, so let's do that. And I'm going to start with the light pink just because it's easier for me. I go back and forth with the colors, but let's start in the center here. Um, I'm not too worried if I get lines. Um, with the pigment ink, it's a little bit easier to blend those lines out, so that's why I like using pigment inks for the backgrounds. I'll, I use a lot of distress inks, um, but mainly for watercoloring. If I'm just going to do a blended background, like right now, I prefer the pigment inks. And so I know I'm past that line right there, so it doesn't matter how messy this is. Most of it's not going to show um, the edges. So I care more about the center. <laughs> and I apologize if you hear pounding. Um, our upstairs neighbor has a five-year-old and he's rather rambunctious. So there. It's that. I'm going to go back to the lighter pink. And I'm just going to blend that some more. These are just gorgeous. Um, the darker one is apricot, um, and that is by far my favorite color right now. And then piggy bank is the light pink. Um, it's a good neutral pink. Okay, I think I have this pretty much how I want it. So when you put the top piece over it, that's all you're gonna see. So I just kind of double check and make sure that nothing's showing that I don't want showing. Okay, and that's pretty good. So I'm gonna put that over there. Give it a second to dry. Um, I use score tape, or I've started using score tape um, because one of my friends, Ruby, uh, suggested it. Um, I've started using the fun foam to make my shakers, although I don't know if I'm a big fan of it. Um, I tend to use the foam tape a lot, but anyways. Putting the plastic on, square tape is great. Keeps it in place <laughs> if you can get the backing off. Um, it's just computer paper. It's from Hobby Lobby. I don't know if you guys can see that, um, but it's great. I love it. Um, sometimes I use packaging, but this stuff tends to not have as much static. Um, and the little, because these packages have little, little tiny. Um, confetti pieces in them that tend to stick more than just your regular um, sequins will. So we did that and now I have a ton more score tape too. This is to stick this to this because I found with my liquid adhesive um, it doesn't like to stick to the plastic as well, at least for me. So I like to use score tape again. <laughs> this has a hundred little pieces on it, I apologize. I'll probably edit this out. The Lawn Fawns stitched rectangles, the largest of the small set, and the same 
circle die in the middle. Honestly, you guys have no idea where the circle die comes from. <laughs> but that's it. And then I cut it with the foam tape, but then I cut again so that the area is a little bit larger. And you can use a powder tool. Um, this is my favorite. It's the EK tool. Um, it's just easier for me to get in the corners and I make a lot of shaker cards. So this one was the one that I got. I don't do so much embossing, honestly, because I suck at it right now. <laughs> um, the most embossing I do is usually um, on black paper and uh, I'm just horrible at getting rid of the extra pieces that got left behind. Black paper tends to be more staticky than the other stuff that I found. Okay, so that's the shaker portion. Um, I tend to do things backwards. A lot of people put it down here first, but I like to put it here. Um, I just pile the sequins in the center <laughs> and then stick it down. Um, but I just made sure the edges um, are not sticky. Sometimes I do the whole thing if I'm worried that it's gonna get really stuck and then I wipe it off really good. Um, but this plastic also has like a kind of rough side and then a really smooth side. And I found the rough side is good for going on the inside of the card. Um, it's just a little bit easier for the sequins to slide around on. Um, you can also do it this way, and sometimes I do that, if you want to pour your sequence in, which is what I think I'll do right now, just to show you guys. And then we can work on the front of the card. So sometimes if I'm not getting a good mix, or I'm not getting the mix I want, I'll go and I'll dump a bunch in my hand, and then I'll pull out what I want. So I want a little bit more of the clear stuff. You guys, there's like hearts and stars, I don't know if you can see that, and little tiny pieces. And then there's seed beads. And what I found with the seed beads is that they help unstick the sequins. So when your sequins get stuck around the edges, if you shake it a little bit harder with the seed beads um, in there, and all these mixes, a lot of them have the clear seed beads from her. Lucy Abrams is the one who made this mix. Um, her sequins are great. So since these are cut with the same size, it's really easy to line it up. Um, and you know, if you're a little bit off, you can always trim the edges with a sharp pair of scissors. All right. I usually use tape runner, um, honestly. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. I just make sure that there's a lot of it. It's pretty sticky. Um, and by the way, I buy this tape runner at Joann's, but I buy it in the kids section. Um, you can get a whole 10 pack and it's usually a lot cheaper than if you buy it in the craft section. Um, so that's my little tip for today. <laughs> you can see I'm getting all around the edges. And I probably truthfully should have done this before I put the sequins in, but just run your finger around and make sure that there's nothing sticking out. And you know what, I don't care if a couple of my sequins get stuck around the edges, just as long as there's enough in there that it shakes around pretty well. Okay. Let's do this. Now, I can't get anything straight, <laughs> even with my grid mat. I love this grid mat, but let's see, hopefully that's good enough. All right, let's flip it over. Yay! So there you go, you can see how all those shake around. Um, so those seed beads really help to loosen things up in there. And as long as you're sealed all around the edge, you should be good. So I don't get too much. See, there's not a whole lot of static in there. And honestly, I could have let that background dry a little longer and it would have moved even better. But it's pretty good, I'm happy with it. So this is what I do. Um, I usually try and find elements that are the same colors as my sequins. And then I try and choose an opposite color. So the opposite of red is green. Um, and these are kind of pink. And he just tucks nicely around this flower, I think. Just like that. Oh my God, you guys, he's so cute. I can't get over him. Um, and now we need some kind of sentiment on this. I think I like the warm wishes and sunny smiles. All 
earrings. And this is where I have my hardest time because I have to like choose where I want my sentiment and I usually like it down low. I don't know, should we put it right there? I'm gonna probably put a couple extra sequins around the edges. All right. And um, for my sentiments, I really like this Lawn Fawn Black Licorice ink. It's really dark and it's hard for me um, to get my sentiments stamped more than once. I don't have a Misty. Um, I probably should pick one up, it'd be really helpful. Um, but I do have this, so it's a Fiskars stamp press. And the foam feet are up high enough that if I line it up, I should probably line my card up better. Sorry if my big head gets in the way. And with that fun foam, it makes it so much easier to stamp this because it's got a little give. Um, so you can really squish it in there. There you go. Okay, that's fantastic. All right, let's get these embellishments stuck on here. Um, So there it is guys, well, that's my panel for my card and I, you know I just got an A2 card here and I'm probably just going to do that, let's stick that down. I just gob it on. Okay and here's the part that I always screw up to because I never get this part even. Sometimes turning it upside down helps, we're just going to go for it. Yay. Okay, <laughs> that's as good as it gets. So there you go. I probably should have stuck some green sequins in there, but it's really cute. These little flowers back here, they're iridescent. <sighs> okay, and I have some sparkling. Can't don't know where my multi-mat medium is. You guys, I have these tweezers and I honestly don't remember who they're by, but they are awesome. Um, you have to press them to open them and then they spring closed. It, they're great. Um, then let's use some score packaging. And then I just do that and then I wipe it in the glue. Don't know if this is on camera. Okay. <laughs> and if it squishes out, it doesn't matter because it's multi matte medium, so it's going to dry to a matte finish and you won't even see it. Um, this is the best that I found if you're going to put something through the mail. Um, they still sometimes pop off if you don't use a bubble mailer. I don't know. I should really ask my pen pal how they're going through the mail. I need to send her another card, so maybe this will go to her. Since I haven't sent one in a while. You guys, this is so off, but I don't really care. Um, I can probably make another banner just to go right over it. Maybe in black. It. Maybe I'll, I'll emboss it. Um, but yeah, there's the finished card, and I will get some still shots for later. Okay. Thanks, bye.